How do we deal with Muslim jinn? The answer, we don't. As Allah said, speaking about the day when he gathers mankind and the jinn together, رَبَّنَا اسْتَمْتَعَ بَعْضُنَا بِبَعْضُ وَبَلَغْنَا أَجَلَنَا الَّذِي أَجَّلْتَ لَنَا قَالَ النَّارُ مَسْوَاكُمْ خَالِدِينَ فِيهَا They said, our Lord, some of us benefited from each other. We helped each other. We communicated with each other. We worked with each other. And Allah will say, the fire is your destination and you will be in it forever. So we do not communicate and seek out and look for building communication with the Muslim jinn. However, there are some situations where you cannot help it, and the jinn speaks out in front of you. In this case, what you are commanded to do is to tell them to do good and stop them from doing evil. كُنْتُمْ خَيْرَ أُمَّةٍ أُخْرِجَتْ لِلنَّاسِ تَأْمُرُونَ بِالْمَعْرُوفِ وَتَنْهَوْنَ عَنِ الْمُنْكَرِ وَتُؤْمِنُونَ بِاللَّهِ You tell them to do what is good. You forbid them from doing what is evil. You tell them to accept Islam. You forbid them from hurting this person and possessing this person, and you command them to believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.